All right, guys, so on today's video, this is my model, Crystal. We're gonna be doing a double process blonde hair color. You guys are gonna love this end result. So we start off, I mix up powder lightener uh, or powder bleach with 30 volume cream developer and also a 16th of an ounce of Olaplex. That helps to make sure that you don't dilute your formula. I'm gonna be working diagonal forward partings and painting from about a half inch off of the scalp all the way through to the ends. Crystal um, has not colored her hair in quite a while. She actually had a uh, challenge where she, we had been blonding her hair for a very long time. She tried to do an at-home straightening service and her hair actually started breaking off. So she grew it completely out. She hasn't created blonde or she hasn't put blonde in her hair in a long time. So now we're going back through. Her hair is finally healthy again and we're gonna go back through it. So that should teach anybody that is at home, do not do any of this at home, go to professional. So uh, I paint this from scalp to ends. Again, it's 30 volume cream developer. I don't have to worry about the damage. I've got Olaplex in there. So it's gonna multiply those bonds as I lift up the hair, keep the hair nice and healthy as I work through. Key thing here is just to make sure that you don't take too thick of sections. So all of my partings are about half an inch wide at the most, even thinner uh, depending on the thickness of the hair. So Crystal's got a nice medium density, so I don't have to worry about so much uh, taking really fine sections, but you wanna make sure that, that lightener saturates all the way through, and you'll notice I paint it back, and then I work that brush back and forth, make sure I saturate every bit of hair, because the worst thing that can happen is you go through there and you didn't saturate one little part and now you've got those spots in there that you can't get out so just make sure that you get full saturation the other thing that I'm doing because the um, basically just off the scalp to the ends is going to be the hardest part to lighten so I stay off of the scalp at the beginning because I don't want to irritate her scalp and I work my way all the way through I'll do the entire head this way and then I'll go in and touch up the base uh, with the lightener as well. I'll still use the 30 volume because I want to pump it up uh, and have it happen nice and quick, but um, it won't be on there as long as the rest of the color. So we're going to speed this up nice. You can see how I take each of those partings. I figured it would be better to speed this up rather than skipping so far ahead in the technique. So you can see each parting that I'm taking is very consistent all the way through the head shape. You can also see how it's starting to lighten on the one side. Now, I think a couple questions you guys might have is why I, just cho why I chose to do one side and then go to the opposite side as opposed to going back and forth on each side. My big thing with that is as long as I work quick and efficient so I have Thad helping me uh, with holding the hair as I'm working through so I can efficiently get through there within 10 minutes so I didn't really have to worry about um, it processing too different on each side. I also made sure that I mixed a completely separate bowl when I got to the opposite side so they both lift the same. So that's another thing that you need to make sure you're doing when you're working with lightener. Don't mix way too much. Like you wanna mix exactly what manufacturers say to mix and then maybe a little extra if you wanna push it a little bit, but don't go too far because after a while you lose the power in that lightener. So you wanna make sure that you have a fresh bowl as you go through. You can already see it's lifting really consistent on both sides. Now I start, I paint the parting right down the center and then I start in the back and I work um, just painting the scalp all the way through. All of my partings are pretty much still there so, um, so I don't have to fight through her hair. So this is one thing you don't wanna go in there, create new partings and start pulling her hair apart. You wanna create um, the best experience possible for your guests. So just find those partings that you already had, they should be separated and go through and touch up uh, the scalp. Another thing that I would say uh, for you guys out there, if you're doing this for the first time or you have a guest that you haven't uh, done this kind of process on before, maybe start off by doing a test area with lightener to make sure that they don't have any kind of reactions to it because you are putting it right on the scalp. So the last little bit, I just work that lightener through, making sure I didn't miss any spots um, because we don't want to have to go back and do that. And then this is the process that we work with Olaplex. So we had Olaplex step one in our formula, uh, 16th of an ounce. Now what I'm going to do is something a little bit uh, different and fun is, so you can see the yellow that's coming through that dominant pigment that happens at that level nine um, or high eight level. Uh, you get that warmth. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do her step two, but I'm also going to throw Paul Mitchell Pop XG purple quartz right on top of that step two. 
and put that into her hair that way. So while I'm letting that step two process for five to 10 minutes, I'm also getting the benefits of that purple base to help neutralize her hair just a little bit. So I add the step two, squeeze a little bit of that purple quartz on there and run it through to the, uh, from the scalp to the ends. Now I'm not trying to make her hair completely cool because we're gonna go through and do a second process of coloring, but I wanna go through and I'm gonna put that step two on anyways, so why not throw a little bit of that purple quartz in there to help neutralize your process. So like I said, we let that sit five to 10 minutes. Um, I've let this sit for about 10 minutes because I wanted the benefits of that purple quartz sitting on there. Uh, you could see how it neutralized it a little bit. So it has yellow tone to it, obviously. Um, and now what I'm gonna do is create a shadow root. So I went in there, I, um, I've towel dried the hair, and now I'm going in with Paul Mitchell. This is the uh, X, uh, Color XG um, 6PN, which is like a pearl, uh, a pale neutral, not pearl, pale neutral. And I go through and I paint that right on the root area. And what that's going to do is neutralize that root, bring it down a little bit, but I didn't want to put a level six on her completely dry hair. And so I run this through just to create that shadowed effect. And I pull it through the ends because that'll give me a little bit of depth. So I'll paint it at the scalp all the way through this. Let it process for about 10 minutes through. You can see how deep it's getting. Uh, that's another reason why I don't want to do it on dry hair. Wet hair dilutes that a little bit so it doesn't get so dark. And then I'll just kind of feather it through the ends right before I rinse it. And you can see how it starts to change uh, the ends of the hair and really kind of um, just neutralize them out. We're going to go in, like I said before, we're going to do a second process on her dry hair. This is not a quick color technique, guys. This is a professional color technique, and it's something that um, I think a lot more hairdressers should do, and they should charge for the time that they're doing it. So this is a big change for Crystal. Uh, so I want to take my time. I want to do it right. So each of these steps is getting me closer to that end result that I'm looking for. Obviously, I want it to be a more natural feel. So as I'm working through it, I keep slowly neutralizing the hair, but still allowing it to have a little bit of that warm undertone to it. So now you can see where um, we've got our end result. So this is my two tones that I'm gonna use. This is Color XG, that's a high lift uh, platinum. And then also a nine, so that's with 40 volume. I'm gonna do that through the ends. I also add Olaplex to that 16th of an ounce in hair color. So um, we'll keep our protection going. And then I'm gonna go in, this is my mid shaft color that is, uh, 9 pn which is a pale neutral uh, level nine i did a dash of seven in there i didn't show that for some reason and then i uh, used 10 volume and olaplex on that as well so we're doubling up on the olaplex making sure that we put it in everything that we do uh, throughout this process so you can see that shadow root how awesome it looks that's really what i wanted to go for and now we're going to create that same kind of uh, feeling throughout the entire color so I'm just painting the 9 p.m. with a dash of 7 p.m. right through the mid shaft um, and then pulling the HLP, which is the high lift platinum. It's got a violet base through the ends to neutralize any more of that yellow, but also lift it a little bit more as well. So a um, little less damaging because it's not bleach. So we're just using that plus the Olaplex to keep the hair nice and healthy. So I did section this away. I didn't section it away because the technique gets very different throughout this whole thing, but I did section it just for cleanliness. And um, through the very crown area, I do change the technique just a little bit um, to keep it more natural. But this is very straightforward. And just because we're doing multiple processes, we don't make it overcomplicated. And I think that that's one of the big things with this technique is that you know, the time, it takes a little bit more time to do two processes, but I'm also gonna charge for those two processes as well. So I'll charge for those highlights and then I charge for, um, let's say this is a block coloring technique. So I'll charge for that as well. So she's looking at a double ticket, but then after that, you could put her on a maintenance plan. So it obviously will not cost that much. If she waits another two years to come back again, then yes, it will be more expensive. So think about it that way from a business standpoint, you can tell her, you know, this is, uh, the investment that you're making today, but as you move forward, as long as you come in every four weeks to maintain this look, um, we can keep it uh, at a different price point. So just talk to them about pricing, be open about it because um, we should be charging what we're worth in this because it's, we're spending a lot of time doing it, but the result's gonna be so much better because you didn't rush through it. 
So in the crown area, um, I think a couple things I change in the crown and around the face is that I paint the HLP on first through the ends and pull that up to the mid shaft. And then I just paint a little bit of that 9P, keeping the brightness a little bit further up. So in the back, I go deeper with the 9P because that's the underneath part. And then on the top, I paint that HLP a little bit higher just to bright, keep it bright and uh, uh, lighter because that's how it would be naturally. So now what I'll do is I really go through. So this isn't something you just set it and forget it. I go through there and I look and I feel and I make sure that there's coverage on everything. Um, that's an, another key factor is you want to make sure that every bit of hair has color on it and you don't get the tones that you weren't looking for in the end. Process it for 30 minutes, rinse it, add the step two again to the, the formula, and then you shampoo, condition, and style. And there's our end result. We're totally in love with this look. Um, this was such a, a big change for Crystal, and I think it was worth her two-year wait. So I hope you guys like it. Let me know in the comments below if you have any questions. Thanks for checking out the channel. Make sure you subscribe below.